What's up everyone, Spider Dude here, and welcome back to another video. Uh, today I'm going to be doing uh, another comparison between video games. Last time I did this it was uh, Spider-Man and Spider-Man Miles Morales. But this time I'm going to be doing it with LEGO Marvel's Avengers and LEGO DC Super Villains. Now be, you may, might be asking, Spider Dude, why such a random comparison? Well the answer is... Lego Marvel's Avengers and Lego DC Super Villains are my favorite Lego games. Lego Marvel Avengers is my favorite Lego Marvel game, and Lego DC Super Villains is my favorite um, Lego DC game. Okay, so with that being said, let's get to the review. First up, I think I should probably talk about the characters. So. Lego Marvel's Avengers has a pretty wide variety of characters here and a lot of good ones too. Um, something worth mentioning is the fact that we have so many Iron Man suits. So let's just start off with Mark 1. We have all these suits and this is just basically from one character so that's really cool I like that a lot um, and not to mention I do have all these DLCs but uh, as far as the DLCs go uh, I think Lego DC supervillains has better DLCs um, and I think uh, overall Lego Marvel Super Lego Marvel Avengers probably has a wider variety. Not that there's more characters in this game, just that there's some really nice characters that we haven't seen in much many other games. Like uh, you know, Doctor Strange. It's a really nice take although Lego DC Super Villains does have some really nice like, rogues gallery I just I wish they had some of the characters that we haven't seen already um, I think I'll give one point to Lego Marvel Avengers and one point to Lego DC Super Villains because they're pretty much tied in my mind. So, that's one point for both. So they're tied so far. And uh, here are some of Lego DC Super Villains characters. Uh, obviously, you know, it, this game probably has more characters. Um, so, these are really good too. I like all these. But you can probably see why I tied them, because there's so many good ones here, but there's so many good ones in the other game. Uh, I just can't choose. So, these are all good, and LEGO Marvel Super, uh, LEGO Marvel Avengers is all good, too. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty much what I have to do here. That's one point to both. Next up, we should talk about the places you can go. So, we'll go to space really fast. Now, of course, this this transition screen is pretty cool on its own. But as you can see, you have you have the uh, if you go over here, if you keep going, keep going, keep going. You have Malibu Shield Base, Barton's Farm, Manhattan, Washington DC, Asgard, and Sokovia. But uh, obviously as you can see here, the only places you can really go in this game are Metropolis, we got Metropolis, Smallville, Gotham, and then, you know, uh, Apocalypse. Dark Sides uh, world, I guess. <laughs> and then there's the buildings you can go inside of, but no real other world type places or other really locations. So, yeah, the 
as far as places to go, uh, Lego Marvel Avengers takes the win on that. So, moving on. Next up, I want to talk about not the story, but the side quests, you know, gold bricks, all the other things you can do in the game. Now, for LEGO DC Super Villains, it was pretty challenging, but I did have a good time. As for this game, I didn't have a good time at all trying to collect all those gold bricks and everything else. It just wasn't for me. There was a lot to do and it was it was just not it. LEGO DC Super Villains on the other hand actually was a lot more fun, at least to me. Um, see this is this is the kind of things that you had to do now. These look this looks like a lot, but it was actually quite a fun time. And you know, it's just just little quests. It's not and these are little clues to the locations of these bats that you had to find and destroy. Uh, but yeah, these are all different things, and you know, it's it. They were fun. They were nice to do. I liked all of it, and you can see I got 100% on all that. It was a lot of time, but uh, <laughs> yeah. So anyway, um, Lego DC Super Villains probably takes the win for this one. So yeah. Anyway, moving on to the next topic. Now let's talk about the actual story. For this one, I'm going to have to give the win to LEGO DC Super Villains. Although this one was based off the actual movie, movies, plural, it was based off of a few different Iron Man movies and two different Avengers movies, I have already seen those movies. So it was like replaying those movies, which is cool, don't get me wrong, but LEGO DC Super Villains story had this fun create your own character, be your own villain type person, and then at the end they gave you the option to choose between hero and villain. So I'm gonna have to give the win to LEGO DC Super Villains as far as main story goes. Also another thing about the story in LEGO DC Super Villains, I feel like these were just funner in general. Um, maybe uh, like, I don't know, I, I felt like I had more fun doing these than I did for the LEGO, D, uh, LEGO Marvel Avengers. LEGO Marvel Avengers, I noticed, had a lot of bugs, and sometimes the game would just straight up crash. But I never had that problem with this game, so... Um, this one, again, takes the win. LEGO DC Super Villains. Just an example, really fast, of some of the characters I've created. I made my own version of Jordan Kent um, here. Uh, this I don't know if I made this Jordan Kent. I think this was just a Superboy that I made. Because uh, yeah, this is Jordan Kent also. I made him really cool. And you can just do a lot more stuff, I feel like. And you can do effects with the hands. A lot of different things. And I feel like this is just wider of a variety and overall better. So, overall, LEGO DC Super Villains has the most points. Um, personally, as far as my opinion goes, I can't choose my favorite between these two. It's just as far as stats go, this one seems to be the better game. Last but not least, I think we should consider the character customization. Figuring it is a such, such a big part of the game in both games really I mean the first Lego DC Super Villains is a bigger part but it is fun to create your own character in this game too but as far as the better you know character customization options and stuff go I'm gonna have to give it to DC Super Villains so with all those points being tallied up LEGO DC Super Villains does take the win. Now, I do want you guys to know that I like Marvel and DC completely equally. I'm not biased towards either one. I like them both extremely. But, as far as these two particular LEGO games go, LEGO DC Super Villains is 
the best one as far as statistics go. Now, opinions are different. I want to hear what you guys think is the best LEGO game out of these two and why. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you want more of these comparisons, let me know in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.